Hello Tokusatsu community and welcome back to my Soto Sunday series here on the Toku Toy Story YouTube channel. This is the series where I cover all of the latest Soto, Shoto, and Yudaline figure news from Japan. This week we have a pretty good amount of stuff to talk about from Kamen Rider Revice to Kamen Rider Ryuki and even some Gal Ranger Shoto super stuff coming up here. So let's go ahead and talk all about it. So first up from Kamen Rider Revice by 5, we have the next two figures being revealed along with some extra accessories and sticker options that are brand new to this Soto line. So of course we have the Khan Genome based off of Kamen Rider Forze for Kamen Rider Revi, and we also have the Brachio Genome based off of Kamen Rider Geo also for Kamen Rider Revi. So we have yet to see the vice forms for either of these two genomes, though I imagine that these two are being placed in the same wave due to the fact that the vice version of these two genomes is more or less just a repaint slash slight remold from each other, so it does probably make sense to do Khan and Brachio in the exact same wave. Now to go with this, we are finally going to be getting a revised driver, which actually, I have a revised driver right here. So it's going to be a revised driver with a stamp like being pulled like this, like it's about to transition into a brand new form or something like that. And you're going to get a ton of sticker options for this to pretty much cover every single one of Revi and Vice's genomes. You're going to have the option, you're even going to have the option of a blank screen as well, if you'd like to have that for the Revi's driver on your figures. So that's a pretty cool little accessory that Soto likes to include from here and there, just to kind of really get the most out of what you see on the screen into the toy line itself. And you're also going to get some sticker detailing to go with the Ohin Buster 50 as well for whenever they stamp things for the stamp by finisher, and all that is just a little extra added detail that always makes Soto go above and beyond. So next up this week we have the end of Soto Chronicle Ryuki, which has been a thing for, you know, about half of a year or so at this point. A little longer, especially with all the monsters and everything that we've been getting in terms of those not being out yet. But we have the final two sets announced, and they did say that this is the end of Soto Chronicle Ryuki, so if you didn't get everything you would have wanted here, pretty much they're doing everything from the show and any actual, like, strictly Ryuki related things, and I'll get into that in a second. And I don't think a lot of fans are going to be disappointed by the ending of this line in terms of what they've already accomplished, because they've done so much and pretty much everything you would have wanted. So the first of these final two sets, of course, these are both premium. Uh, we knew this for a while, the fact that the next Ryuki thing was going to be premium, because we already knew that Soda Chronicle Ryuki 3, which comes out next month, was already announced to be the final retail set, and there were still a couple of riders missing from the TV show, or actually from like the extra movies and specials. Uh, these are the ones that did not appear in the TV show, which makes sense. They are bundled together in a premium Bandai kind of TV SP set or whatever they're calling it. Just the ones that appeared in the 13 Riders special and of course in the episode final movie. So you're going to get Kamen Ryuga, which is actually not just a repaint of the Ryuki figure. Uh, they talked about how they wanted to be kind of detailed and accurate to the screen in terms of having a little bit of a bigger bulk. So they used the tiny little bit bigger, bulkier figure body of the Oja figure we got from Chronicle 2, and they actually kind of re-sculpted the Ryuki armor onto the bigger body mold, which uh, did not would have, I definitely would not have expected them uh, to go that extra mile on that one, but that is pretty sweet. So he's going to come with his sword, and that's the only weapon you're going to get, but you're going to get the different card holding hands. Of course, the drag visor is going to be able to be slid down for you to look like you're putting a card in and everything, and you're going to get a swappable visor to have either like the red lights or in the, you know, the red eyes, I suppose, uh, light up or not light up, which is something we saw pretty consistently with Ryuga, where especially when he was on the dark, you could see his big red eyes and not so much in other settings, so it's cool that they're giving you that, especially since that piece was always removable on Ryuki, it just didn't really serve a purpose to be removable there. Um, so I love that. You're also from the same movie that Ryuga debuted in, you're going to get the only female rider, and kind of the first, like, official female rider, if you don't count Tackle from Stronger, Kamen Rider Fom. So of course to capture Kamen Rider Fom here, they had to have a brand new body mold as every single one of the Ryuki riders has been using a male body mold, so this is a brand new female one. And she does come with her visor, which is very similar to Kamen Rider Knights. It's basically the same thing, it's just, you know, kind of a simpler sword and everything like that, but you're going to be able to even have that swap uh, to look like it's, you know, being opened or closed for her to put a card in and everything like that. Uh, but you're not going to get any of her weapons or anything like that with this one, which you probably know what's coming. And then the final rider for this set is going to be Kamen Rider Verde, which is a rider that only appeared in the 13 Rider special before showing up in, like, the Rider Timer Yuki stuff back in Geo and everything. Uh, but definitely, like, the one that's had the least amount of screen time of any Ryuki rider for the most part. 
Uh, he was a little bit more of a bigger deal, kind of, in Comrade or Dragon Knight, uh, but it's great to have Verde here. He doesn't really come with much, uh, he just kind of is here. Uh, doesn't really, you know, add a lot here because these are missing stuff because, of course, there's a second premium set. So this is the first one, and to go along with it, we have the ending of the monsters as well, which they've given us every single one of the mirror monsters, which they did promise they were going to, and this set is probably exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's just a companion set to the Riders, as this is going to have Drag Blacker, it's going to have Blantswing, and Bio Grisa, the three mirror monsters of Ryuga, Fom, and Verde. So this is where you're going to get all the other weapons. So like the Drag Blacker is going to have the Strike Vent and the Guard Vent and uh, all that kind of stuff. And Blancewind is going to have the Giant Sword for Fom. It's going to have the Shield Vent or the Guard Vent. Uh, the Verde figure or the Bio Grisa for Verde is going to have the Swing Vent, I think is what it's called or whatever that's called. Uh, the the Yo-Yo thing, which is actually going to be on a wire. Uh, the first so thing to like be on a wire, they were Tally 9 promoting that little cheeky thing they were like you can even recreate clear vents by just not having the figure there <laughs> when the figure is invisible me i have verde's clear vent right here actually <laughs> so <laughs> fun little thing there they said you're going to get the sticker uh, for that to be held in his hand with the card and everything so that's pretty neat and uh that's that's the end of comrade soto ryuki chronicle uh the only thing they really didn't do was comrade abyss which first and really only appeared in comrade decayed and hopefully we can go back to like gaim and O's, especially O's with the new stuff for the new movie and everything that we still need for those shows because I like what Chronicle does and I can't wait to see what they have for us in the future. And finally for this week we have some surprise Gal Ranger Shoto super information. So hot off the tails of the SMP Gal Hunter blog post the other day, we actually have an announcement for the Duke Org Roki to get a figure in this line, which is really, really cool. Uh, for those in the Power Rangers you know, side of things, this is Zanaku from Power Rangers Wild Force. So this is really, really cool for him to get a figure to go with the Shoto Super stuff. I know a lot of people wanted this to happen, uh, to go with Gal Hunter as well, of course, and they nailed it. I think it looks really pretty. It's very similar to the fact of how they did the Bio Hunter Silva when they released the Bio Man Shoto Super set, and they talked about how they've wanted to do this one from the beginning, they just weren't 100% sure if they were going to be able to make it work or find a slot for it somewhere, and they did. So it is going to be releasing here. It's a zone standalone thing, which is going to be a little pricey, of course, but there's nothing else with him. I mean, he has accessories and everything, obviously, but he doesn't have any of the figures with him. He's just a companion piece to go with your SMP Gal Hunter and your Gal Ranger Shoto Superset as well, especially Gal Silver. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, pose him with him and everything, or fighting the Gal Rangers, you can have Roki do that, of course. And it's a really, really cool thing for us to get, because I know a lot of people love the character in both Gal Ranger and Power Rangers Wild Force, and the suit is really cool. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for this week's episode of Soto Sundays. Of course, until next time, you can check out a bunch of other Tokusatsu related content from me around the internet, here on YouTube at Tokutopics, Geeky Tweak, and Soto Pop, and you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRidgeKey or at LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all next time. Tokusatsu, forever.